County Manager Shane Fox presented a report on those projects at Monday's Alexander County Board of Commissioners meeting. County Manager Fox first reported on the Wittenberg Access Area project. This project includes a new swim beach, concessions, restrooms, office building, picnic shelter, and more. He said that Duke Energy has completed the project and they had scheduled a final walkthrough with county staff Wednesday. Fox said that bids are currently being accepted for the Bethlehem Park Improvement Project, which includes a new concessions restroom building, additional picnic space, new ADA compliant parking and walkway, field lighting improvements, tennis court resurfacing with pickleball courts and more. The bid deadline is January 16th. In addition to the project, the county will add a new playground at the park. The Bowman Court Sewer Project is also out for bids with a deadline of January 30th. The project involves the construction of a sewer pump station and associated force main to connect property on Bowman Court to gravity sewer lines on Chigger Ridge Road. Final details are coming together for the 42,000 linear foot water line project that will further connect the county water system and provide water access to homes in various unserved areas of the county. Fox said the project will hopefully be advertised for bids late this month or early next month. The Bethlehem water tank project is on a similar timeline. Fox said the county is waiting on permitting approval and will hopefully advertise for bids late this month or early next month. You can get more information on projects in Alexander County by going to this story at our website, whky.com. And you can find a link in that story that will get you to a site that will have more information on Monday's Alexander County Board of Commissioners meeting. The next board meeting is scheduled for Monday, February 5th at the CVCC Alexander Center for Education. That meeting will start at 6 p.m. on that date. Reporting from Alexander County, I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY News.